the Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf has announced that former Prime Minister Imran Khan, who is incarcerated at Adiala Jail, would contest the upcoming general elections from three constituencies. Today, I submitted a request for the government to submit the government, which the government has allowed. Tomorrow, Khan will have a nomination form for Khan Sahib. और खान साहब इन शाह ते इलेक्शन कंटेस्ट करेंगे हमारे सारे जो वर्कर हैं और सपोर्टर हैं उन सब को खान साहब की तरफ से ये पैगाम है कि जितने इंस्पायरेंट हैं जो इलेक्शन लड़ सकते हैं वो अपने नामिनेशन फॉर्म कानून और आइन के मुताबिक वो अपने डॉक्यूमेंटेशन आप फाइल ज़रूर कर ले इन शाह तिकटों का फैसला बहुत जल्द होगा मैं खान साहब से टिकटों के फैसले के सिलसिले में जब आता हूँ ان سے ڈسکس کرتا ہوں اب اس مرتبہ بہت زیادہ سختی کی گئی ہے میری الیکشن کمیشن سے التجا ہے کہ وہ اس سلسلے میں کوئی اقدامات کر لے یہ پی ٹی آئی کا اور اس کے سپورٹر ورکروں کا اور کینڈیڈیٹس کا حق ہے کہ یہ فیصلہ خان صاحب ہی کریں گے جو کل بھی چیئرمین تھے آج بھی چیئرمین ہے اور انشاءاللہ کل بھی چیئرمین رہیں گے جتنی مین وائل ان ریسنٹ ہیئرنگ ایٹ دا اسلام آباد ہائی کورٹ اٹارنی جنرل فار پاکستان Mansoor Usman Awan stated that the government has not authorized any intelligence agency to intercept audio conversations. This revelation came during the proceedings of a petition filed by Bushra Bibi, Mr. Khan's spouse, who sought action against a leaked conversation allegedly involving her and PTI leader Latif Khosa. The petition argues that the recording violated the right to dignity and privacy as protected by Article 14 of the Constitution. The court had previously directed relevant authorities, including the ISI and FIA, to provide reports on the audio leak and instructed PEMRA to address how a leaked private conversation was broadcast on TV channels. Sarfaraz Ahmed Bangulzai, a commander of the banned militant group, the Baloch National Army, announced his surrender on Wednesday alongside 70 of his associates. The announcement was made at a press conference in Quetta with Provincial Information Minister John Achakzai also in attendance. कि मेरे पास पछतावे के सिवा और कुछ भी नहीं है जितने भी लोग चाहे इस तरफ नुकसान दोनों तरफ से काफी हुआ है दोनों तरफ से नुकसान काफी हुए हैं मैं उन तमाम लोगों से माफी का भी तरफगार हूं जिन लोगों को जिन लोगों को हमारी हमारी वजह से तकलीफें उठानी पड़ी उन्हें दुख उठाना पड़ा और पहला सवाल क्या था फंडिंग 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 जहां तक फंडिंग के बारे में आपने सवाल किया बिल्कुल इंडिया से इनको फंडिंग की जाती है इंडिया इनको फंडिंग कर रहा है इनके तरीक़ार हम सारे मुल्कों में बने हुए हैं और इसके अलावा मंशियात मंशियात फरोशी भी करते हैं मंशियात लूटते भी हैं लोगों को अगवाकारी � آپ لوگوں نے خود دیکھا ہوگا جہاں کہیں پر بھی ترکیاتی کام ہوتے ہیں فوری طور پر یہ لوگ ترکیاتی کام کرنے کے لیے نہیں چھوڑتے جب تک انہیں وہاں سے بھتا نہ ملے چیف آف آرمی سٹاف جنرل آسم منیر سیز پاکستان وشیس ٹو ڈیولپ اٹسلف ایز ای کنیکٹیوٹی ہب ڈیورنگ ہز فرسٹ آفیشل وزٹ ٹو دی یو ایس پاکستان's Chief of Army Staff, General Asim Munir, engaged in candid discussions with U.S. think tanks and media. According to Inter-Services Public Relations, the Army Chief emphasized Pakistan's ambition to be a connectivity hub and stressed a commitment to balanced relationships, eschewing block politics. General Munir highlighted Pakistan's geopolitical and geoeconomic significance, expressing a desire for a long positive interactions with U.S. leadership and the Army Chief's commitment to fight transnational terrorism. Meetings with key officials, including Secretary of State Antony Blinken and UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, were part of the visit, along with engagement with the Pakistani diaspora.
Modi willing to investigate alleged plot on Sikh separatists life. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has expressed willingness to investigate any evidence provided regarding an alleged plot to kill a Sikh separatist in the United States, according to the Financial Times. The US Justice Department recently charged an Indian citizen with plotting the assassination, implicating an Indian government official in the planning. Modi stated that India is committed to the rule of law and would examine any information received. The Indian Foreign Ministry established a high-level inquiry committee to investigate the matter. The alleged target is a vocal critic of the government and leads a US-based organization advocating for Punjab's secession. The accused Nikhil Gupta was arrested in the Czech Republic under US extradition orders. The White House has treated the alleged plot with utmost seriousness and raised the issue with the Indian government. Modi expressed deep concern about overseas extremist groups engaging in intimidation and inciting violence under the guise of freedom of expression.